Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well in our last video we added these buttons and we linked them to the various sections and the buttons take us to those sections but when we click on them they sort of take us straight there, no scrolling. What we want to do today is add a bit of smooth scroll JavaScript, and make them scroll smoothly. A bit like we've got on this site here. So when we click on it, it scrolls down rather than just jumping down. Okay, so let's get started. Here's our website folder with all our files in it. I want to click on our index.html and open it with our brackets text editor. Brackets is a free text editor. You can download it from the link below this video. But you're welcome to use your own text editor. Editor, It's entirely up to you. I've already got mine open with it. So this is what we'll be working in today. Now we're going to go to a, a, a page where we've got some code written already. And I must thank Luca Palumba for supplying this code. It's on CodePen. I'll put this link below also. And we've got HTML here, CSS here, and we've got the JavaScript here. We're going to want all of that JavaScript. We won't want any CSS because we've got our own CSS for our site. But we will just need. If we look at this, to make this work, he's using a class called Data Smooth, and it's linking to the same place as the href in our links. So we need to do that as well. First thing to do, let's get this JavaScript. So I'm going to copy from the top all the way to the bottom. That closing semicolon there, Control C to copy. Then let's open our brackets. And let's go right down to the bottom where we'll find our scripts. Here's our scripts. Now let's give it a title. And that's a left pointy exclamation mark space space. What do we call that? Dash dash name and close it out dash dash right pointy okay now underneath there we need to open some script tags so that's left pointy and the word script and that'll tell the browser that this is a script about to be read closing right pointy and it adds the closing script tag there let's just return and put a bit of space between them And inside the two is where we want to actually paste our script that we just copied. So control V to paste. And there it is. I'm just going to tidy this up a bit. Select it and hit tab to move it over the right. Or shift tab to move it to the left. There we go. Okay. So we put that bit of script in there. There we go. That's fine. Now what we need to do is go to our buttons and add this class of data smooth. And I'm going to copy all that till the closing inverted commas there. Data smooth equals opening hashtag name closing inverted commas control C. Let's go back to the brackets. Now let's go back up to our buttons. Okay, here's the buttons that we put on our slider yesterday. Here's the href link. And I'm going to paste in what I got there, what I copied, data smooth home, put a space between the two. And I'm going to do the same thing below. Space between. Now I just need to match up the hashtag contact where it's linking to with what it says in. Here, so hashtag contact and hashtag team. Okay, 
Okay, and let's see. So the learn more button should now go to the team section and the contact us button should go to the contact, funnily enough. Now I've put that on button two. Let's just copy this. I'm going to tidy that up. Let's just copy and replace our other buttons with this too. Control C to copy. There's our first slide buttons. Here's our third slide buttons. Control S to save. Back to the site. Okay. And let's refresh. Now let's see what happens when we click on these buttons. There we go, it's scrolling down rather than just jumping down. This one should go to the team section. Great. Um, one little problem that I see there, if we go back up and I do that again, when it gets to the team section, it's not quite getting all of the way. So we need to change the offset a bit so that it's about 10 or 15 pixels there. So that it actually stops in the correct place. So let's go back to our HTML, go back down to our script. Now here's that script we put in. What we want to do is change that offset from 85, I'm guessing 15 picks. So let's try 70. We can always change it again. If you happen to know the, the height of your nav bar, it's probably going to be exactly that. So let's save that. Control S to save. Back to the site. Up to the top. Refresh. Now let's hit that team one, which is the learn more and see where it stops this time. There we go. That's pretty much spot on. Oh, that wasn't a bad guess actually. about there maybe a little more but that's going to work for me like i say let's go back to the top try that again that's fine so that's the only other thing you might need to do that was pretty easy and that was just to change the offset so it actually stops in the correct place make sure all these other things are going to work that's fine that's fine that's fine too. Fantastic. Okay, there you have it. That's how to make those buttons smooth scroll rather than jumping to the place on the page or the anchor tag. So I'll put these links below the video. And thanks again to Luca Palomba for supplying this code in the first place. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.